Wendy Stratton is going to be the new principal of Gunn High School. 22 years in education, a former instructional lead, former athletic director, assistant principal in two districts, including our own. One of the people I would classify as an equity warrior. Wendy, it's all you. Hi. Uh, thrilled to be here. Thanks so much for that introduction. I just crave ever since I um, was so honored to get this job to just run laps around all of the buildings at Gun High and meet every person, shake hands, um, give hugs, get to know people face to face. That is who I am. I have an a background in athletics. I took that through my life as a driver um, and I like to be deeply part of a community and know it well. And I don't think systemic change is possible for a leader that's not intimately aware of everyone and everything happening within a system. So I, I've I hugely crave to be part of this community. I'm very excited. There's so much more I could say, but I don't want to take up other people's time um, and thrilled to be here tonight. Thank you. Thank you. And we'll, we'll come back to you in just a moment. So next, our, our new Palo Alto High School principal, Brent Klein, is coming to us with 26 years experience in education, including some time that I thought was really interesting as the ultimate coach, the band director. Well, I'm going to start where uh, you kind of started in, in terms of the, my musical experience. Because as a band director, the most important thing that you created was relationships. And uh, early on in my career as a principal, I took that with me. Because as a principal, you, you not only guide and build relationships because they absolutely matter, but within those relationships in that community that you build as a leader is that individual. Being a high school principal, it's the ultimate job. I want to continue and I want to grow. And this is uh, next year is the year to do that, ultimately. I thought it was just going to Pally that was going to give me that ultimate change and freshness, but it's now under uh, such bizarre and unusual circumstances that it's going to be even more of, a, I don't want to say a challenge, but it's going to be a great opportunity for me as a leader to bring what I've learned and, and to see what can happen in, in terms of moving forward. I know that Pally has some wonderful traditions and that's an important uh, piece and to uh, really step back and to give people the opportunity to uh, share their voice. Let's bring it on and, and let this tragedy, let's turn it into something that can benefit all of us and to see what we can change to improve education for all kids. Uh, what's a challenge or two during the closure that's making your transition tougher? The challenge is that I, I um, I would have already been there, you know, uh, it's that physical connection that, that we don't have right now. Um, it's only virtual. My whole, all, all of us right now are experiencing that same thing, but, uh, you know, we're trying to figure it out differently. So I'm just missing that physical contact and ability to meet people. I just, I think that nobody can quite understand who hasn't been an administrator at a high school with, you know, over 2000 people pursuing learning and passions in their own ways and not having that those spontaneous moments of walking through a classroom and the surprises that occur. Uh, I miss that. I feel deprived uh, of those magical moments. So what's an opportunity? What's something that you are really interested in knowing more about Gun High School? Anything off the top of your head? Well, what comes to mind uh, really is what can we derive from this moment? You know, uh, it's definitely a challenge in so many ways, but uh, you know, as an athlete, I always see uh, through the, the through line to opportunity and what is it that we need to know and learn right now that we could improve the outcomes for students at gun. So I'm spending a lot of time thinking like, you know, what, what should we grab hold of and carry forward? And I wonder what our community at gun has to say about that. I really want to debrief this moment in time with our community. <laughs> Brent, same, same question. What are you looking to, to know more about with Pelly. You know, I would start with the teaching community first, and I'd like to know what they've learned on how to connect with kids differently. And what is it that we can bring from that uh, distance um, experience so that we can incorporate both of these uh, learning uh, and environments together? And in the same breath, I'd like to listen to the kids about what their experiences were on, on the flip side. How do you bring that, that sense of community back quickly because it's been disrupted overnight? Wendy and Brent, is there a final thought that you want to share? I'm frustrated. And I'm motivated at the same time, you know, I'm frustrated that what I know, what a high school is and what a, a high school principal can do, you know, you can't do what you used to. Um, but in the same breath, it motivates me to look at doing things differently because that's the only way that we 
can do. It's like watching a game from the sidelines when you want to be playing the game. And I guess the bonus is that, you know, as a new leader at Gun, I, I, there's a lot of opportunity for me to reflect and to learn and to listen. Um, that's invaluable. And I feel that it's a gift that this time has brought, but um, I don't want to sit on the sidelines anymore. I am not a spectator athlete. I want to go. I want to jump in and um, I, I'm waiting for the, this to change up. But thank you.